Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and I wanted to talk about The Flash Season 3 today. Um, so, there's a lot of confusion, I'd say, um, kind of regarding the last couple seconds of the Season 2 finale. Now, I promised I would talk about Flashpoint, which I will talk about Flashpoint, um, but th there's a lot of other uh, plot points that I think will actually be going on uh, in Season 3 as well, which easily could consist and kind of build off of the whole uh, what seems to be Flashpoint story, uh, story plot for next season, but uh, there's definitely going to be other things going on. So, uh, let's start talking about Jay Garrick. So we know that Jay Garrick, uh, he is the Earth-3 version of what seems to be the Flash. Um, also, he is the Earth-3 doppelganger of uh, John Wesley Shipp's Henry Allen. So, he's a very uh, sensitive character, I'd say, for Barry as of right now. Uh, but, he is definitely going to be coming back. Because John Wesley Shipp, he's not a series regular, but he's still going to have the same presence, I'd say, uh, that he had, like, in, in Season 2. And even in Season 1, just kind of appearing in, you know, just a few episodes here and there. Um, also, because Jay Garrick is such a mentor character to Barry, I think he's definitely going to play a role that way. Uh, Earth 3. Now, we don't know if Earth 3 is the Supergirl Earth or not. But I'm assuming it's not. Because I, it does, they haven't mentioned anything about, you know, this Jay Garrick Flash speedster on uh, Earth, uh, on that Supergirl Earth. So, I'm assuming that a Supergirl Earth is actually either Earth Zero, or it could be like Earth Four, or it might be its own special kind of other Earth. Like, you know, if Earth One, you know, Barry's Earth, uh, Oliver's Earth, uh, that, that's Earth One, Earth Prime, maybe there's like a another second Earth Prime. I guess that doesn't make sense because Earth Prime literally means the main first Earth, but there could be a similar type of Earth um, to Earth Prime, uh, which houses Supergirl and Martian Manhunter and all of that. So we'll, we'll see about that, but Earth 3, it's not going to be Crime Syndicate because a lot of people are like, oh, you know, or are they doing Crime Syndicate Earth? No, that seemed to be a bit more of Earth 2, and I think they're going to kind of tie it Earth, uh, Crime Syndicate Earth into a bunch of different Earths as well. Like, they're not going to just, I don't think they're making specifically Earth 2 Crime Syndicate Earth, but I don't think they're making Earth 4 specifically Crime Syndicate Earth either. Crime Syndicate Earth seemed to be a bit more of Earth 2, but there were still good people on Earth 2 as well. Uh, Earth 3, I'm assuming, is kind of all the Golden Age characters. Um, so, if you were kind of expecting to see, like, you know, Alan Scott, um, maybe uh, Earth 2, a hot girl, who is actually Kendra Saunders, um, which they kind of altered that for Legends of Tomorrow, uh, or maybe you were expecting to see somebody more like... Power Girl, something like that, that's probably going on on Earth 3. Now, I don't know that for a fact, but assuming that because they're, they're saying Jay Garrick came from that Earth, the older Jay Garrick, you kind of have to expect that more of those Golden Age characters will be coming from Earth 3. Of course, they're going to be also tied into Earth 1 as well, because I know, it's going to, I'm, I'm saying a lot of stuff here, so hopefully you're, you're following me. But if you guys remember from the Legend of Tomorrow season finale, uh, Rex Tyler, our man, showed up, and he's like, hey, I'm a member of the Justice Society of America, I'm gonna, be, you know, be part of your team now. So, we know Justice Society exists on Earth-1, and our man, Rex Tyler, is a very well-known, or, I I'd say, I guess, to comic fans, he's very well-known, to anybody else, not so much, but... If you're uh, a fan of DC Comics, you know who Rex Tyler is, or at least our man. And he is a prime Golden Age member as well. So they're going to be mixing and matching Golden Age characters, but if you're trying to guess what Earth 3 is, it's most likely going to be maybe a bit more of an old-fashioned Earth, maybe a bit more of a, a very you know obscure-looking place, but I'm assuming more Golden Age characters are coming from there. Now... Let's talk about what the hell Barry's doing in Season 3, because he's going to have a lot to do. Now, when we last saw him, and just spoilers, if you haven't seen this last couple seconds of the Season 2 finale, here we go. Barry goes back in time, he stops the Reverse Flash, we don't know if he killed the Reverse Flash. My guess is no, 
Um, and I'm, I'm going to explain why in just a second. But he, he, probably, he hurts him or knocks him out pretty hard. And he saves his mother from dying. So by doing that, you know, we don't see him go back to the future yet. So he's still, which I think that actually would have been even better. If he saved his mother, then went to the future, and then we got a tease as to what you know, this new Earth is going to look like. Um, but here's basically what Flashpoint is. So, in the comics, uh, and they even made an animated movie about it, but Barry Allen, he goes back in time, he saves his mother from dying, then he decides to head back to his regular future, what he thinks is back to his present, right? Except, the Flash actually doesn't exist. Barry Allen is is just kind of a... He, he's, he's a regular person in this... In his present. Okay, so it's kind of hard to explain right now. But basically, think about it this way. Barry Allen, when he goes back in time, when he's traveling through time, he's not really part of any to like any specific period. He's kind of just... He's kind of just there. You know, he... he it's such a hard concept to explain. But he... When he's t traveling through time, when he's moving at supersonic speed, he's almost not even part of any planet, of any timeline. He's just a concept as well. Very much just like the world or like a religion. Something he like not not saying he's a religion, but you get what I'm saying. He's kind of like just a an idea. So he's not technically part of any period of time or he's not really even a person. Okay? So when he goes back to his future, there's another version of him. That that future's version of Barry Allen. So he, that, ver that, that present version of Barry Allen, he does, he's never became the Flash. So the Flash, he sees all this happening. There's this war between Wonder Woman and the a Amazonians. And then you have uh, Aquaman um, and uh, the people of Atlantis. And they're, they're at war with each other. Uh, Superman, he's all skinny and bony. And he's locked all the way down underground. Uh, Cyborg, he is like the Superman figure of that world. Um, and, you know, like I said, the Flash never was able to bring all these people together because you realize the Flash was the person to bring all these people together. Thomas Wayne is Batman, and it was a twist on this, like, it was Bruce Wayne who got shot. Martha Wayne, she became the Joker, and Thomas Wayne, he became this really brutal Batman. He had this really badass sword, um, and he, he, he was pretty cool. But, the, like I said, Barry Allen, he never got Flash power, so the Flash sees all this. Right? You, you, you understand why there's two versions of the Flash. Or, or at least Barry Allen. And he sees all this and he realizes he has to come to terms with himself. Like, hey, I gotta, I gotta go back in time and I have to let my mother die. So that's why I think, um, it, you know, if you guys remember from the season one finale, when Barry Allen saw that future version of himself um, saying, no, no, don't save your mother. Don't save your mother. And Barry's like, but I just found out how to come back in time. And this is, I want to save. And he's like, no, you can't do it. That's why I think the season three finale is actually the version of Barry. That's going to be the Barry that comes back. Because he's going to have seen this big flashpoint. So, that's basically flashpoint in a nutshell. Uh, there's so much more to it. So many more layers. Which I, I don't really want to get into yet. Until we actually find out more information about season three. But... If you've noticed, the key characters in this are Cyborg, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, and Thomas Wayne Batman. And I'm going to bet a heavy load of money that none of those four characters are even being like in talks to be used, okay? They won't. They're not going to be there. I would be surprised. I mean, they could maybe, maybe if they were feeling ambitious, maybe mention Thomas Wayne, or maybe mention Batman. If they, like, even Easter egg name-dropped Batman, that'd be interesting. I don't think they would even do anything like that, though. So, that, that's basically what I'm getting at. They're not going to use those. But, I think they're going to do something kind of in a sense of a war. Uh, because in the comics, like I said, Aquaman and the uh, people of Atlantis versus people of the Amazon, they fight. They're at war with each other. They hate each other. I think the gorillas and people, the, the gorillas and the apes of Gorilla City, Gorilla Grodd, Grodd, I think will be actually a main antagonist next season. 
And I'm really hoping that he, the, at least the gorillas, they are, I mean, either it's, they, they either, I hopefully they either do some sort of Planet of the Apes kind of thing, or the apes are at war with another group of people. Now, I don't know who they, they could be at war with. Um, you know, we could see maybe more speedsters. Uh, you could see maybe more metahumans. Um, you could just see maybe average, regular looking people, right? Something along those lines. Um, uh, but I definitely am expecting the gorillas, uh, people, the, the apes of Gorilla City, all of that to really, uh, be something big and important. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm really wondering where Grodd went, like if that was a different earth, something along the lines of that, uh, you know, because you guys remember he was, he, he kind of saw Gorilla City at the very end of, of uh, that Grodd episode, but the big question is, did he go to a different earth? Um, but either way, I, I, because Barry altered the past, the future could be different, which would mean that maybe Grodd, you know, became big and strong and all of that. Also, it was just confirmed that, um, Harrison Wells, once again, will be a series regular for Season 3. We don't know which version of Harrison Wells. We could be seeing the Earth 2 version of Harrison Wells, or we could be seeing the Earth 1 version of Harrison Wells, a.k.a. maybe the Eobard Thawn version again. Eobard Thawn, whether you like it or not, is always going to be Barry's biggest main nemesis and antagonist, even more than Zoom ever will be. Uh, because Zoom is a bit more, in the comics, he's a bit more Hunter's Element, at least. He's a more of a Wally West villain. So, right there and there, I do think if they're doing Flashpoint, you could easily use the Reverse Flash again, bring him back. It'd obviously be very annoying. Honestly, I don't really want that, but I could very well see it happening. Uh, also, we could be seeing uh, introduction of new characters, new speedsters, which we, which is kind of said by uh, Grant Gustin, inevitable that we're going to see them. Uh, so, of course, Jesse Quick, Wally West, I'm really hoping get flash powers, but because this is a time travel story, it seem, it's going to be a very, that's going to be the main problem here, time travel, I'm really expecting Bart Allen Impulse. Yes, not Kid Flash, Impulse. Uh, I'm really hoping they use Kid Flash more with Wally West instead of uh, Bart Allen at first, and we'll see where that goes. But Bart Allen, he is a time travel speedster. He's more of, that's like his job. Like, you know, while Wally West, Barry Allen, Jesse Quick, they're all more of just, you know, street level speedsters. Bart Allen's like, hey, I'm from the future. I'm a time travel speedster. So, I really could see him being a main impact, maybe helping Barry fix what's happened. Maybe he sees, maybe he comes back um, in time and it's like, man, Barry, you really screwed this up. You gotta let your mother die. Uh, and I am kind of expecting that. Also, Max Mercury, very interesting. I think they could do a lot of great stuff, especially because they keep teasing Mercury Labs. And this is the one I actually want to see probably the most, and that is Savitar. Now, uh, he's like a pilot right, uh, third world country pilot, and he gets, his plane gets struck by lightning, and of course, he got struck by lightning, and he got, you know, the powers of the speed force. He named himself after, I believe, the Hindu god of speed, which was Savitar, so that's why he goes by Savitar, and he's a very different looking speedster, uh, he kind of looks a bit more like a gladiator beast war man. Um, they've also, there's been rumors that there's going to be a villain who doesn't, who's not even a metahuman. So, you know, there's a lot of possibility here for season three, but expect some sort of war back into the present. Uh, expect Grodd, for sure. For sure Grodd. Um, I, you know, I don't know how much they're going to be going into the multiverse. Like, the multiverse was like the main, th you know, thing for season two. Expect full-blown time travel, full-blown time travel, full-blown, you know, butterfly effect, um, and, you know, if you've ever seen the show Heroes, which I love that show, but, uh, Hiro Nakamura, the main time traveler, yeah, his power was that, but he, he always had the task of not stepping on too many butterflies, which is basically just, you know, if you, you can't change something in the past without it 
drastically affecting the future. So it's going to be very a very interesting season three. Uh, in, in just a little over a month, like a month and a half, you will be seeing a bunch of trailers, teasers, images, news coming out of San Diego Comic Con. Um, and of course, Flash does pick up again uh, end of October, along with Arrow, Supergirl. Um, the next video I'll probably be doing is something about Arrow Season 5, probably some villain predictions. Uh, if you guys want some other Flash Season 3 videos, let me know uh, what you're expecting from the show and just you know, if there's any other characters you want me to talk about because there's so many we could talk about. You just kind of have to let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to click your like and subscribe and go check out our new X-Men Apocalypse review and Easter eggs video. I'm Ryder signing off from Toys with Attitude and keep writing, guys. Bye.